Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today bringing you a vlog in Eastbourne. This is where I've been for the last week or so and it's because I'm actually visiting my dad. So he's given me this incredible looking room with a huge bed that's way too big for me and it's one of those Victorian style attic rooms. I've always wanted one of these, it's been awesome. So I'm glad to finally be here. And he, this, this isn't his main TV, this is just like a spare TV and it's bloody huge. And um, I brought my laptop because I have to do some rendering whilst I'm here because I, I can't catch a break apparently. But I've been here for a week and we've done absolutely loads. It's been great. Everything has just been so impressive. Like his house, I thought it was just gonna, well, it's, it's a flat technically, but it doesn't feel like a flat at all. This room is just like the ominous um, storage room. He plans to turn it into a gym at some point. It's sort of be a gym storage combination. And um, <laughs> the thing, it's like, this isn't a full scale door, believe me, like that's the size of my hand compared to it. It just leads to nowhere. It's the creepiest thing. There's a huge draft through there too, which I never realized before. But this room, I hate. It scares me a lot. And there's not too much coming in here, so I'll take you downstairs. But the first day I arrived, we, we ended up going to a theatre. We saw a play called um, Portrait of Murder, I believe it was. And it was, it was good. It was a really small, like, theatre. They didn't have those speakers, like, the characters didn't have clip-on mics, which was weird. It was surreal for me. But I really enjoyed the performance. It was good. And um, these are the other rooms downstairs. It's a lot more spacious than I thought it would be. But the bathroom, probably the least attractive of all rooms, so I'll take you there first. It's actually very, very modern for a bathroom. I mean, typically, uh, I, I was expecting a bathroom in a victorian -y house to be very sort of old wooden peeling and stuff, but you can tell it's been done up. It's really nice. And um, it's got a great shower. My dad's little collection of shower gel. It's, um, and the sink, I just love the sink. I've never ever seen a sink like that, but it's fantastic. So this is my dad's room. I probably won't go into, I, I, I don't know if you heard that. That scared the shit out of me. But what the, okay. I'm going to pretend as though that didn't happen. I bet I'm, like, my heart just skipped a beat there. That is... <laughs> that is so weird. I, I like, um, in, in another one of my videos, I said how I've been so jumpy recently. But little things like that just, ah, uh, they terrify me. And then, uh, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to carry on. Okay? That was, that was surreal for me. Um, this is the living room. It looks awesome. It's really spacious. It's got a fireplace, the sofas, and um, my dad's TV there. He doesn't have a stand for it. He's got his PS4. My dad has a better gaming system than me. What does that say? And this is this is his garden, or like it's a it's a private garden for all the people who own flats here. And you can see a bit of Eastbourne out there, which is pretty cool. Um, but after seeing Portrait of Murder on the first day, the second day I went to his offices, saw the people he worked with. He works on the council which um, is really cool. He has, like, he has a lot of responsibility, basically. Um, and that's, that's how he took us to the theatre, because he, like, basically, he doesn't run them, but he funds them and he, he manages them a lot. He manages the people who manage the theatres. So, um, free tickets galore. We got to see The Sound of Music, too, which, is, um, which was great. It's a really good musical. I really enjoy it. And the production of that one was fantastic. And we've done other fun things, like been to art exhibitions and... and um, all those sorts of things. Um, the art exhibition, he, David Dimbleby was there, the person from Question Time on BBC, and he was there doing a speech because he was one of the trustees who funds it. So that, that was really cool. And other than that, we've um, gone on an open top bus tour, which gives us a tour like Beachhead or Beachy Head, which is um, it's, it's like this huge cliff overseeing Eastbourne. It's fantastic. Um, and yeah, swimming, there was a fair, there was like an extreme skating, sports festival, where was live music. Eastbourne is just fantastic. And I need to be careful what I say, because my dad will probably end up watching this knowing my luck. So, hi dad, if you are watching this. I, I, I told him that I was gonna, I had a filming project to do when he went out for work on the last day. And um, he, he probably has no idea to vlog. So sorry about that. Sorry for just showing off your flat without your permission. But yeah, Eastbourne's been great. And that's why there was no vlog last week, because I have been here. And um, it's been great. How the hell do you zoom on this thing? It's, oh, I got it. And the best thing about this kitchen is you don't need a clock because you have a clock tower in the distance, which this, this really annoys me. 
it chimes before every hour, like it chimes two or three minutes before the quarter or half or whatever it is. But yeah, it's been fantastic whilst I'm here. I'm really happy, it's been good because I've been stuck in Murphy for a while, it's kind of been a, um, I've needed a vacation I think, and this has been really nice, I've really enjoyed it. So I hope you've enjoyed the vlog, I just wanted to show you what I've been doing and, um, and show you around my dad's place because it's really, really cool, I like it. It's been nice to spend time with him because I, I haven't spent much time with him at all over the last few years. But yeah, this is me, Evans with Ed 111. Please leave a rating if you enjoyed the video. That's my dad's little bus collection. He's obsessed with buses and trains and, and whatever that is. <laughs> but yeah, this is me, Evans with Ed 111. This is me out. Peace.